let's go with it. See what happens. Okay, this is how I chain up my my little gate. Take some effort. I get it chained up, but I don't want a bear to get through here, so let's see what I do first. I forget. Might be a little tighter there. He ain't getting in there. He'll have to have a big bolt cutters if he wants to get in there. So we're gonna go with it. Okay. There you see the very first hive I have up here at the wildland in the bear proof apiary so here's the door you can see I use barbed wire to go around it that's our hinge there's a multi wrapping a barbed wire and then of course you see me just lock it in with the chain the chain is wrapped around that big cedar bolt top and the bottom and these uh, Hog panels were tied together with 
barbed wire, you can see it's all wrapped around at all the joints on the top too. The entire apiary is wrapped in barbed wire. Probably use half that roll. <laughs> wrapped around. Here I wrapped some just some loose strands of barbed wire in with this closer mesh wire welded fence. That way a bear can't reach his hand through there and try to reach the back of the beehive right here. I'll eventually do that to all the spots. Right now I just did this spot because I didn't want them reaching in there. You see all the posts? Every one of them are wrapped in barbed wire holding the hog panel onto the bolts. So if you look in the middle, you can see I've got welded wire fence on top of the hog panels. That way if a bear gets on top of that, he can't reach his paw through here. Come down on it. If I'm going to do anything differently, I'm, the next one I build is going to be a couple feet higher. This is only six and a half feet high. I planted some chocolate mint in here last year and it's coming up. Doing pretty good actually. This is to discourage ants from living in the area. I just planted this whole entire swale mound here with spearmint. Another anti-ant me measure. Let the thistles grow. Not only will they provide a pollen and nectar source for the bees, it will discourage the bears if they get this whole thing growing with thistle around here. That's it. That's the bear proof apiary. Remains to be seen whether it's bear proof or not, but until one breaks in I guess I can call it that. That's the intended purpose. I do have a deer trail camera there now. The bear comes trying to get in, we'll probably pick him up on the camera. I pointed it so I could also see the front of the beehive. Well, this has got a hair trigger. Just about anything triggers it and maybe we'll get some good shots of bees flying in and out. This is some bear scat here. That's fresher than fresh. That was last night. So I wonder if my trail camera's got any bear pictures on it now. That'd be cool. Hmm.
It's raining out, but I want to get the chip out of that trail camera because I want to see if they got any video of bear walking around the cage. So there we are, ready for winter. Now it's 75 degrees. <laughs> November 1st. November 17th. Maybe getting their last drink of water. Still have drones. <laughs>